Okay, what appealed to you most about the script and story that made you want to get involved? So we can start with David. Um, I think it, I, I didn't know about this uh, period of time in terms of the laws. And so I think that's one of the reasons why I was fascinated to delve into this moment in the, in the country that I was born in and live in and how it differs from the, um, the privilege that I have as a gay man today, the, the, the rights and freedoms that I have, um, to go back into a time where to be me would be incredibly difficult um, was something that I really um, uh, was interested in exploring. Yeah, I think for me it was, um, I, I was really drawn to how the film explores love, but in a variety of different ways and how like, there is love in friendship and yeah, and how Tom and Marion's relationship, even though it's not maybe like physical love that they have for each other, there is like this bond of friendship and it raises questions as to like what makes a marriage work and why people stay together and especially like the relationship between the three of them and what bonds them together and then how those bonds are tested and broken. I just thought it was incredibly complex and nuanced and there was something really intriguing about that. Yeah. Those are both great answers. Thank you both. Um, a lot of the filming took place in Brighton and the location is almost a character in its own right within the story. How much did you enjoy filming there and what was it like to film in Brighton? Love filming in Brighton. I mean, it's a city with so much queer history and you really still feel that. And also it's so beautiful and without much effort feels so of that time, so period. Yeah, so it was, it was really wonderful. Yeah, it's always been a, a, a special place to me. <clears throat> Since I moved to London um, years and years ago for, for drama school, I used to go every year with my friends and we'd have go for a night out and stay in a hotel. Um, and I performed there as well early on at the beautiful Theatre Royal. So it's always been a special place to me, yeah. Love that. Um, next, Jamie. What did you learn about the time period of the 1950s that was particularly interesting or fun to live in that world for a while? If anything. We think it was more learning about the complexities of the time and um, yeah, the societies, um, the laws that were in place that meant that people couldn't be who they wanted to be or um, love the way they wanted to love. And that was really interesting and complex for us to explore. And something that I think we really wanted to explore in a way that would make it still resonate today. Um, but yeah, and then the costumes and that, all of that side of it is always really fun. Really makes you feel like you're living and breathing that period of time. Yeah. I think Emma's just answered it all perfectly. So <laughs> that's all, all I'd say as well. Totally fine. Um, can you talk about working with acclaimed director Michael Grandage? Yeah, I, I, I worked with Michael um, about 14 years ago, the first time he, he ran a, a beautiful special theatre in the centre of London called the Donmar Warehouse. It's a very intimate space and um, I loved it very much and learned a lot from him. Uh, and then I, he produced the play that I was involved with a few years later. So the opportunity to get to work with him on screen was something that I uh, really wanted. And um, yeah, it was a very special time. Yeah, like, I mean, I hadn't worked with Michael before, but I'd been going to see his play since I was like a teenager and always loved the way he approached storytelling um, with so much insight and perspective and wisdom. And yeah, I was very excited to work with him. And Emma is working with Michael very yeah. soon. And oh, we should all go and see it. <laughs> We're all very excited for Orlando. Um, and then last question, what are the themes of the film that a global audience can relate to? Themes of the film, love, acceptance. Yeah. Longing, David, you said that earlier, it's a good one. Thank you. Mm. <clears throat> <laughs> um, 
It's a hard question that because I think we're, I I think we are just excited to hear what an audience make of it with um without giving them too many preconceived ideas. Exactly, exactly that, yeah.